What's going on everybody, Actor Shakoa here, and welcome back to the Retro Showcase. And today we're playing a game that I've never played before. It's from a series that I haven't played in a long time. I've only played this like once. It's F-Zero X. Um, this has been called the quote unquote black sheep of the F-Zero series. Uh, I've never played this before. I've never even heard of this. Uh, I only knew it existed until I, uh, <laughs> I found it on the Wii U eShop. So, the game looks good for a 1998. Like, it does look quite cool. Apparently it's the first F-Zero game to use 3D graphics, which is also quite a neat little fact. But the, the actual fact that I'm going to give you guys, as we always do on the Retro Showcase, I always give you a fact about this game. This released uh, 383,000 copies in America, which is really good, especially because this game wasn't like the like an all-time best-selling uh, game on the N64. So those kind of numbers are still really impressive. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump straight into a Grand Prix race. I tried uh, practicing. The controls are a little bit difficult to get used to, but um, you know, we might as well just try and we'll do it. We'll do what we can. So there are six tracks in a F-Zero Cup, not four like in Mario Kart. Uh, so this is going to feel a little bit weird, but let's do it. Let's start. So there are loads of characters you can unlock as well. Um, I assume you can unlock Black Shadow at some point as well, who's the main kind of arch, like, arch nemesis of Captain Falcon. They're going to be good old uh, Captain, Captain F. Um, but yeah, let's start this Grand Prix on Mute City. Probably the most famous F-Zero track of all time. So, from what I've gathered, you can, oh wait, no, you can't use um, the boost on that one. But there's a, uh, a boost you can use, which you can use it and it makes you go faster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, but your health bar goes down. Which is a neat little spin on I think. But yeah, this... It's not easy. <laughs> this game is not easy to control, as you can see. I'm being very careful. The good thing is, though, this, um, this first track is quite wide. So you can kind of get used to how the game controls and stuff. But yeah, this is definitely one of those tracks where it's just, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's very busy, I guess. Not if you get out in front though. Obviously if you're out in front, there's no way anyone is catching it. But, like I am now, aha, eat my dust. Very, very hard to uh, to control though. As you can see, it's like I'm veering to the left and right constantly. Final lap already. Yeah, there are only there are only three laps in this. I forgot to mention. Oh, I'm about to die. We don't want to start the video off on a bad note. Okay, and we boost. Let's just get out of it. <laughs> oh. It's so fast. If you guys don't like fast games, I'm sorry. <laughs> My friend Sam doesn't. He hates Sonic. Um, I think Sonic's a great franchise. Boom, first place. I think Sonic's a great franchise, but um, yeah, this game, F-Zero X, or F-Zero GX, or just even the original F-Zero, some of them are just, I think they're a lot faster than some Sonic games out there. Like, if you put the two side by side, you'll probably see that F-Zero is a lot faster. Wow, so the um, the point system is really different as well than in Mario Kart. So instead of getting 15 points for first, you get 100 points, and then second gets 93. And I see it just keeps working down and down and down until you get to the bottom, which I think is 30? I was recognizing a couple of other people here as well. Obviously Black Shadow. Um, and Samurai Goro was, I think, a trophy? And I think he's a... Uh, he's an assist trophy, sorry. And he's a... Uh, what's it? Uh, he's a... I can't remember what else he is, but he's like he's from... Smash Brothers. Um, he's, so, he's something else in Smash Brothers, I think I remember. He's an assist trophy and he's like something else in there. Like, he's like a collectible or a sticker or something. But yeah, this is going really well so far. It's definitely different to, uh, to Mario Kart, which is obviously what I'm used to. I'm also not used to playing on the, um, the gamepad. Because uh, I never really use the gamepad for, um, for playing games that much. I, I like using my Wii Remote. The other cool thing about this game is that I recognize a lot of music from this from Smash Bros. So like, for example, this I recognize as like a, a big kind of fighting tune. Uh, obviously Mute City's an iconic theme. Like, 
lo loads of people know Mute City. Um, Big Blue as well, obviously. Everyone knows Big Blue. Uh, that's another big Smash Bros. stage as well. I think that might come up in the, uh, the Jack Cup. But yeah, this is one of those games where if you don't like fast, you will not enjoy this game at all. <laughs> but luckily, I'm um, I'm quite good with fast games. I um, I feel like I've been um, hardwired to accept fast games and to play them well because of my years <laughs> uh, playing Sonic. Because Sonic is also a very, very fast franchise. There's definitely a lot of similarities. Oh, got to get my health back. Okay, I didn't quite get all my health back there. So, like I said, if your energy runs out at the top, then you pretty much die. Uh, which you don't want, obviously. You can also kill the races in this. You can, um, like, you can, you can veer into other people. Which is quite cool, I think. Uh, just, like, having an extra way of, um, feeding people. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Just boost as fast as I can to the finish line. Nice. Another first place. Whew. I am playing on Novice, as you guys probably saw in the uh, the outro. I'm not going to hide the fact that I'm playing on Novice. But um, even though I'm on Novice, it's still actually quite close in some of these races. I always feel like I'm kind of overtaking people at, like, the very last lap. Maybe that's how it's meant to be played, but I'm not really sure. But yeah, like, look at all these people. Like, I'm pretty sure about seven-eighths of these people I have not heard of. Like, who the hell are Gamar and Shio? Or Silver Nielsen? Silver Nielsen sounds like a currency in a foreign country. <laughs> but, oh well. Um, ooh, Sand Ocean. This one sounds familiar to me. People in the comment section below, correct me if I'm wrong. Is Sand Ocean a track in the original F-Zero? Because I feel like that sounds familiar to me. So I've played the original F-Zero a couple of times. Slash, like, yeah, once or twice. But I had fun with it, even though it was very fast. Whoa. Speaking of fast, everyone's clumped up in a little ball. I feel like some people might go down there. Oh. Oh my god, it's so fast. This is unreal. Just get my health back. Okay. Now we can use boost. So the boost comes in every lap two. I can't remember if I said that already, but if I haven't, uh, it bears, bears mentioning slash repeating. Oh, <laughs> oh god. It's so fast. Ugh. Jeez. Oh god, I'm about to die. Look how low my health is. Oh my god. That's so close. I need to be more mindful of that. Every race is just so heart pumping as oh god. It's so just intense that you just kind of can't help but, you know. <laughs> uh like it's hard to explain, but it's just it's so intense, it's like nothing else. Like pretty much guaranteed, this is like no other game you'll ever play. Plus the game, again, I think I said this at the top of the review. I say review, the, the gameplay. But, like, this looks really good for a 1998 game. Like, this looks... I don't know what looks better. This or Super Mario 64. But I think the models are definitely a lot, like, sleeker than in um, Super Mario 64. Because Mario just looks like a bunch of polygons. Whereas this, it still looks like polygons. But at least, like, you know, it looks like the vehicle. I guess Mario still looks like Mario. But, it like, to me, something's off about the look of Mario from N64. I don't know, leave your thoughts in the com comments below. I might be rambling, but, um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird to me how Mario looks in, uh, in Mario 64. Super Mario 64 DS, he looks way better, because obviously you have better technology and stuff. And I think I might play, um, Mario 64 at some point, or Mario 64 DS, sorry, at some point, uh, in the future. Because I love that game. That's a game that is really much part of my childhood. Okay. So we're on, I think, Devil's Forest, I think the, the track said. Oh, someone's down. Someone has exploded. So now it's 18 out of 29 now. With 29 people left. I'm currently 16. Heading into 15, hopefully. Nope, 17. Come back down. <laughs> oh, looks like someone else nearly went. Actually, no, I think... No, sorry, my bad. I think that's a spin attack. I remember seeing in the instruction manual for this. You can spin attack people. Okay. 
Oh, got it. Mm, it's so fast. I'm not used to this speed. Even though Sonic is fast, I'm not used to, you know, this speed. I'm also just trying to, like, bash people out of my way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. This is painful. I right, get all my energy back for the last lap. Okay, how about if I let go of acceleration? Oh, that didn't really help me very much. That actually hindered me. Okay, I can kind of... Oh, my rival just kind of checked me. Just... Oh, come on. I've nearly caught him. Alright, I'm ahead now. Oh, God, it's his turn! Oh, my gosh. Okay, just... <sighs> Every race is so intense, dude. I accidentally just uh, clicked the button. I needed a small break. That was actually a good thing. But, oh my god. Every race is so different. It's so intense. Like, I never know when I'm going to crash out or whether I'm just going to come last or something. Everything is just so intense. Well, the good news is we've got a bit of a lead on us. Um, because if I come second and Black Shadow comes first, even though, yeah, I'm not going to get a perfect score, he's still going to get seven points up on me. Here we go. Big Blue. The cup that everybody has, I guess, been waiting for. <laughs> Big Blue, one of those tracks, or say tracks, uh, stages in um, Smash Bros. They originally debuted in Smash Bros. Melee. All right. Oh, gosh. Um, well, like, I think it's, like, come back in a few other Smash Bros. games. I know it came back for Brawl. I don't know if it came back for Melee. Oh, sorry, for uh, 3DS Wii U. But I know it definitely came back for... Um, for what's his face? Um, Smash Bros. Ultimate. Because every every stage is back there, obviously. I need to play more Smash Ultimate. Um, while I'm... Like, when this video comes out, uh, I'll be on holiday. Uh, so I won't be able to, obviously, record anything, which sucks. But, uh, you know. I can rest assured I will be playing more um, Smash Bros. in the future. And for Retro Showcase next week, while I'm, while I'm here talking about other games... Um, you're going to be in for a surprise next week, hopefully, because Sam uh, is coming on holiday with me. He's not arriving immediately, but he's going to be there, you know, oh my god. He's going to be there, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just spinning around this weird thing. Um, but yeah, he'll be, uh, oh my god. Hmm, I'm bashing into everything. Um, but yeah, he'll be um, on holiday with me. Not immediately, but like soon after that, after I arrive. And he's got an emulator of GameCube games. So I'm really looking forward to playing some GameCube games with him. And we're probably going to record a uh, retro showcase together again as well. I'm not sure exactly which game we're going to record or we're going to play. But hopefully, fingers crossed, um, we're going to choose something that you guys will enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy it because there are so many GameCube games that I can think of that are just classic. All right, they're gonna put pedal to the metal. Oh my! Mm. I don't think we're gonna make. Okay, we made top three. I'll take a third place. It's not first place, but I don't think I could have got first place on that. That was very stressful. So it's not gonna be a perfect score, but we still got 481 points. Yeah, we're 50 points ahead of Black Shadow. So unless something goes horribly, horribly wrong, we're pretty much gonna get first place. Port Town. Ah, this must be Port Town um, from Port Town Aero Drive from, um, uh, from Smash Bros. Brawl. That's one of my favorite stages, actually, on, uh, on Smash Brawl. Very compact, very fast, very always intense. All right, let's go. This is the last race of the video and the, mm, <laughs> these turns. And the last race of the, um... Ah! The last race of the... Oh, that's ice! Oof. Alright, remind me not to go on there next time. Why is this rate runway so narrow? Oh, my... I'm in 30th now? Wow. I'm really not doing something right. I need to put pedal to the metal. Alright. Boost power engaged. Except these corners are very painful. 
I don't know how I made it around that in one piece. Oh, come on. Okay, don't go around the outside. Oh, I'll take a hit. Uh oh, I'm about to go down. I guess need health. Where's the health? All right, health. Salvation has arrived. Excuse me. Ah! This isn't going as well as I wanted to to go. Oh. Ah! I nearly took a complete clean turn. Come on. It's so hard to control. Oh, I just got bumped into something. Uh oh, that's not good. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think my rival might beat us. Oh, come on. Oh, take second. Oh, so close. We nearly took second at the end. But I'm happy with that. I think we got like 87 points or something from that. Black Shadow, I think, finished. Yeah, he finished six. So we're pretty much in the clear. Oh, man. Whoops. I keep pressing that button by accident. Oh, and Black Shadow gets moved down a slot. So Samurai Goro finished second. And we finished first with 574 points. All right. Congratulations. The Blue Falcon did it. This is very fast. Oh, it's giving us all the, um... The tracks we did and the top and the fastest speed. So far, silence have the fastest speed, and I think the fastest time. Oh, we didn't come first in all of them. We came third in Big Blue in the last one. Uh, Port Town. But you know, this was really cool. This was a very very cool, uh, cool session. How to rank in first place. Anything else we get at the end? Like a trophy or something? Oh, we get pedals and stuff. That's really cool. Sweet. We get the highest pedestal. Hey, nice firework in Captain Falcon's face. Thanks for playing. No problem. Anytime. Although I might need a break from F0 after this because it was way too fast. So that's going to be it for, um, for Retro Showcase this week. If I had to, to talk about this game, it's, it's very fast. Um, I think it's a game that it feels arcadey. That's the really fun thing about it. It feels like uh, an old arcade game, which is great. Like I love kind of games that go back in... Uh, like a blast of the past, basically. Go back and kind of have that that feel of race for a bit and then stop, and race for it and then stop. Um, because I think this game needs it. This game is way too fast to play continuously. So I think kind of playing it for about like 20 minutes, half an hour, and then just kind of taking a break before going back to it, I think that's the best way of playing it. But the game's fun if it's a little bit difficult to control. Um, I know there's so many more characters to unlock, but I don't know if I could be bothered to do it. Um, I think I'd play this game again, uh, but not for a while. I think I'd have to um, take a, a, a break from F-Zero uh, just to recover my brain. <laughs> but that's going to be all for Retro Showcase this week. Stay tuned for next week where we're going to be playing a completely different game. Hopefully stuff on GameCube. Hopefully with Sam. I'll see if he's around. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any new videos from me. I've been Akita Shikawa, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.